I am back exactly for the same reason, Mr. Speaker, that you are talking up there. If you are to shut the mouths of the members of parliament so that they do not talk about what has to do with their people, I am telling you, you will need something else other than just this. Because I am standing here for representing my people properly and someone signs that I should be arrested and you did not cover me. You did not cover me. I wrote two letters to you telling you that there is an order on my head and if I am to come here and cannot talk on behalf of my people, there is no way, Mr. Speaker, please, you cannot shut down the mouths of the people who represent their people. You cannot do it. Where else can we say these things? Where else? Are you telling us to form another assembly? Then you tell us. Do we belong to this country? If we belong to this country, Mr. Speaker, you will hear me out. You will listen to me. There has been, I'm telling you, Mr. Speaker, please, Mr. Speaker, please, with all due respect, I have been chased through the bushes for the past three months. I cannot come here and you tell me that I should be discussing the Economic and Social Council, our children out of school, our lawyers in jail, and all that is happening in West Cameroon, it means nothing to you. Where in your standing orders, Mr. Speaker, where in your standing orders do you have space for us to discuss the issues that have to do with the people of West Cameroon? You tell me, then I'll go and sit down. Because you don't seem to have an agenda for us. You don't seem to have it. So what are we supposed to do? It is also part of the humiliation. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, yeah, I am now telling you that the person who ordered for my arrest, tell him I am here. He can come and take me from this National Assembly. And the people of West Cameroon will know that they don't belong here. I am being frank with you. The representatives of the people have the power to say it as it is at any time. And if we come here and you shut us down, you want to kill those people out there. You want to kill those people out there. So what should we do? That is your wish, Mr. Speaker. I should have waited for them to bring my head to you. That is what you would have wanted. I simply say no. Mr. Speaker, can you now, on this floor, give